if you're lazy, all this running around the map playing aggressive can be tiring. But if you just want to get feeds and all the kills you want with a laid back and chill playstyle. After the 3 shot meta died, SMGs took over, catering to a more fast paced game. But that doesn't mean the art of playing passive died, it just turned into a lost art. Chasing highs and thrills all the time won't make a team win. If you're playing in Garena, you might be surrounded with shotguns and MX9s more often than not, and someone needs to play the long shot. Today we're gonna look at how to play passive episode 2 of the playstyle series. Let's look at the things we have to set up before we enter a game. When it comes to settings, I'd recommend having a few things. Respective teammate and quick weapon switch are the things that come to mind. Perspective teammate lets you know the exact location of your teammate without glancing at the minimap and quick weapon switch is still essential because you want to be able to switch to your secondary quickly. An FOV of 60 to 70 would be optimal because lower FOV means your camera is more zoomed in, making enemies appear bigger than if you were using say 75 to 90 FOV. A map zoom of 50 to 60 would be good as well to allow more information inside the minimap, being able to see where enemies are coming from even when they're far away. Sensitivity is a personal preference again, but you could always adjust it to cater the primary weapons you use when it comes to playing passive. I remember a pro player from the Philippines, Soya. He would always adjust sensitivity whenever he switches weapons, allowing to have the same feel and the right sensitivity across all guns. When it comes to primary weapons, the guns that come to mind are M13, PP19, Holger, RPD, and BK57. You can put ASVAL there too, but you'll run out of bullets quickly. Snipers are a very good choice for SND, if you know how, and if you're a good enough sniper, you can use them too in respawns. If this video reaches 3000 likes within 24 hours, I'll post my gunsmith builds down the pinned comment and on Discord. If you live in another planet or galaxy, let me know which weapons do you use for playing passive. Secondary weapons will be Shorty or J358. You can use Renetti or Digo, but the first two I mentioned are my preferred secondary weapons. If you want to play support and take down enemy score streaks, use FHJ or SMRS. For lethal equipment, it'll be Thermite, Molotov, and Frag Grenade. Trip mines are a good idea if you want an extra layer of protection if someone from the enemy team tries to flank you. Make sure you get creative with your trip mine placements. For tactical equipment, you can equip trophy systems to protect you when you're staying in power positions, and smokes and gas grenades if you want to blind enemies or deny areas using your tactical equipment instead of your lethal equipment. Going on to perk combinations, I heard you, a dedicated video will be out soon. For red perks, you can do flak jacket so you take less damage from explosions, Tactician because 2 is better than 1 trophy system, and Overclock if you want to get Operator skills fast, or Persistence if you can't win without it. Green perks include Quick Fix for Health Regen, Toughness so you can withstand head-to-head -head gunfights, and Amped if you're using snipers and you want a faster weapon switch. Lastly, Blue perks. Dead Silence will still be viable if you don't want to be heard as much transferring from one power position to another. Hardline to get streaks faster, and shrapnel for two thermites instead of one. Operator skills will be a bit different from the aggressive guy. Annihilator is an all-rounder, so it'll be the better option as well as the death machine, and sparrow if you're after kills. But if you just plan on playing aggressive all game, transform shield, canine unit, Kinetic Armor and the new TAC-5 Operator skill are good choices too. One thing I forgot to mention from the first episode of this series is score streaks. This is more of a personal preference, but knowing that you're gonna have to support your team and die less, it makes sense to have bigger score streaks. Pred Missile, Sentry Guns, Goliath, don't be like this guy though, Cluster Strike, Vito, anything you want. UAVs will still be a good choice so you can provide information to your team. As a passive player, what should you do early game to help your teammates? Use your lethal equipment to support your team and deny enemies from areas of contention like objectives, power positions, and holding angles. As a passive player, get to a power position immediately. Here's a basic read you can do on Crash so you know which power position to take. Right when the round starts, observe which lane your teammates are heading to. You can take a power position away from your team to cover an area on your own or a power position overlooking your teammates and support them. Don't forget to place your trophy systems. 
From there, it's your job to watch all lanes and angles that enemies might come out of right from your power position. Hold your ground and provide support or get some kills yourself. In the middle of the game, there are things you can do to help your team as a passive player. Number one is cut enemy traffic. Objectives and spawns dictate how enemies run around the map. Cut off those lanes via power positions and deny them of completing their rotations. Be patient whenever you do this. Number two is rotate accordingly. Based on a few key information, you can be the one who rotates early and secure spawns for the next point. You should also rotate after getting a few kills to keep enemies on their heels. Switching positions is good. 3 is to take and play OBJ occasionally. Playing OBJ doesn't mean to be inside the point or stepping inside to capture. It means you should be playing in service of the objective and the team. If the current hardpoint serves like a power position, it would be the right move to take it and hold the angles available. Here are some more quick tips to make you an effective passive player. Gun skill is key. Master your guns of choice. Its recoil pattern, how it handles, its most effective range are important things to know to use your gun effectively. Bullet spread is your friend. When building your gunsmith, if you're going to play range, a weapon with a good bullet spread will help you long ways hitting your shots. Aim assist on plus strafing. If you haven't seen my aim assist video, you'll know that strafing also activates aim assist regardless of your ADS setting. Learn how to abuse this and you'll hit your shots more. Map knowledge. We already talked about this a lot, but knowing this will give you more kills and put you one step ahead of your opponents. Hold unusual angles. Players in higher levels will know most power positions and angles you typically hold. Find unusual and creative angles to catch your enemies off guard. Information. Looking at the kill feed and minimap will take you where you should plant yourself to support your team. Be smart. You don't have to take every gunfight, especially if your enemy has the advantage. Keep your distance against SMG users if you have bad movement. An aggressive playstyle is fun, exhilarating, and thrilling all at the same time. But sometimes looking at the game at a bigger picture and slowing down will give you the opportunity to observe player behavior during the game. I guarantee you'll even learn some things on how to play aggressive even while you're playing passive. Taking care of your teammates and giving them the freedom to move around the map with ease is such a huge key to winning matches. That's it for today's video. Make sure you leave a like and make sure you tune in for the final episode of this playstyle series. Having seen the recent Garena World Qualifiers, who do you think is the best player in the region? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.